I'm a survivor, keep on surviving. They try to murk me, but they can't stop brave. Ain't nothing changed but the will. What's up, it's Ty Tech. It's your girl Ty and I'm back with another video. It's been a while. It's been a minute. You understand? But I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> but now we jump into the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And share that. You hear me? And make sure they tell your mom, your uncle, your sister, your cousin, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, baby, daddy, and them. Yay. They tie back on the two. You feel me? And she about to be dropping all that. Nah, but serious note, before I jump into this video, make sure y'all follow me on my uh, follow me on all my social media. And Join the motherfucking pack, guys. It's here. By the title, you can tell that I'm going to be talking about the healing process. And I really wanted to talk about this because it's something that I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's something that a lot of people need to really focus on doing because it's important. Like, and I don't think a lot of people feel like, oh, it's really important. But, oh, healing is one of the most important things. So, without further ado... We gonna just jump right into this video. Oh, y'all, if I keep looking down, it's because I got my little notes, you know what I'm saying? Gotta make sure I'm spitting the game to y'all that's helping me. So I had to write that down. Got y'all. All right. So, how important is the healing? How important is healing? I feel like we as people, we really need to work on that a lot because, um, It'll help the future, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us, everybody go through things, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people go through things and don't even try to heal. They just, I don't care, move on, move past it, you know what I'm saying? Like it, like it never happened or thinking that it doesn't affect them. But deep down, it really does, you know what I'm saying? Not healing yourself from a lot of pain or anything, you know what I'm saying? It really just makes you angry inside. All it does is build up anger and pass along to everybody else around you you know what i'm saying healing yourself it, it, it'll help you connect with healing others you know what i'm saying because you got to start with yourself first like my dude michael jackson said you got to start with the man in the mirror so start with you first and then you can help everybody around you you know what i'm saying and that's just gonna make the world a better place all the time and if you don't realize that i don't know what you're doing baby and I don't know what you're thinking, but you need to get it together because we got to get it together as one, you feel me? So I feel like if you don't hear yourself before jumping into a relationship, marriage, bringing kids into the world, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that, it gets really, really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? I feel like all of it gets to a point where I feel like it gets to the point that all of your emotions just come together and you just explode, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I say explode, why you think you always yelling? Why you think you always mad? You know, some of us don't realize that that's a problem with some of our parents, grandparents, and all those people. Those people never heal, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it's our job to help our parents and them heal, but if you can, or if you can start with yourself, you know what I'm saying? You at least won't continue to pass it down. So, like I said, start with you. All right. I'm going to go into the things that I feel like you should do during the healing journey. I feel like you shouldn't run from your pain. Like, if your pain is there, take the time. And you're going to have to take time. It's going to have to take time and patience for you to go ahead and work on you get you together because <clears throat> you just have to allow yourself to grieve and get into a better place and if you can't get yourself into a better place you're just going to continue to suffer and suffering on this earth you're suffering enough you know what i'm saying you don't need to make yourself suffer because of something that you went through that you honestly can move or that you honestly can heal from and move on to you know what i'm saying don't don't bring yourself down don't do all those different things because of your hurt yeah it hurt yeah you're damaged yeah it suffers like you're gonna suffer but 
keep on, you know what I'm saying? That time and that patience just gonna make you so much stronger that you ain't even gonna know what you're doing with yourself when you get back. When you get on that level, you're gonna be like, damn, you hear me? Hey. <laughs> um, being alone, being alone is a part of the healing process, but at the same time, you don't want to be alone too much. You want to be with friends, you know what I'm saying? You want to be with family if you, like, you know, you want to just have your alone time so you can think and clear your mind or anything like that. But you also want to probably take your time to be creative, whether it's drawing, um, painting, anything, like just going out to be out with nature or trying new things like, or just even expressing your feelings, telling your feelings or whatever. Something like that has to be done because if you don't, and you just let it keep building, build. Because if you don't, you're just going to keep building, like I said. And it's really good to express yourself, your feelings, in different ways. That's how a lot of us get into dark places because we try to just be alone and not do nothing. You can't just lay in bed, not do nothing, watch TV or be on the phone all day. You know what I'm saying? You got to actually take the time to use your mind. You know, either use your mind or just do something that makes you feel like you ain't got all that pain on you, weighing on your shoulders. Like, just do something that's going to make you feel good, you know, because you're going to need to feel good. You know, even if you have somebody that's a friend that helps you, that make you feel good. Like, cherish that. Cherish that because you need things and you need things to do you need people doing the healing process whether you feel like you don't or not you know what i'm saying like i said you need that long time but you also need the support you also need to clear your mind you also need the creativity or anything to express yourself because you can't suffer and i say you can't suffer because you shouldn't want to suffer you know what i'm saying and this is the time that can't should be in your vocabulary you understand me so I just feel like that just gives you a chance. I just feel like that gives you a chance to really free your mind and not have your mind running all the time. Because when I be going through a lot of things, I like to, I always like to express myself, you know. I either want to go get tattoos, piercings, um, color, paint, try, crocheting, anything. Like, I'm trying, like, that's the time that I really feel like I'm most creative. Even if you want to do DIY projects around your house or anything, like it helps. It really does. And I'm not telling y'all this because, oh, you know, I seen it help for other people. It helped me. The most important thing I feel like you should not let your suffering, your pain or anything shape or define you. Like, don't let that make you. Don't let that make you like, don't let that make you into an evil person. You have to realize that you can't let that pain shape and define you, you know what I'm saying? You have to make sure you take that pain and that process of the healing and turn it into something great. You got to realize that all of that is helping you grow in different ways, but you shouldn't let the pain bring you down and define you to the point where it's like, damn, I'm not even me anymore. And it happened, you know, it even happened to me. And I got like in a really dark place and I wasn't really myself. Like even now, you know, I'm still working on it. Like at first, quiet, tired, chill, you know what I'm saying? Don't re react to all that crazy stuff. But now I react to things and all that. And it's been like that for a while. Like. I mean, I don't react to things like I used to now. I like I'm better, but you know, it's like before I used to always react to things and all let things get to me, and that's because I wouldn't let myself heal. You have to like this is a journey that you should try to that you should enjoy, but it's going to be hard for you to enjoy because you are hurting. But you gotta realize that you're gonna get through this. Because God ain't put you through none of that pain because you couldn't get through it. 
He know you can get through it. He know you strong. He know that in the end, it can make you better. But you have to see it. You have to make sure you fight and you can't give up. You know what I'm saying? The healing, the, the pain, it brings you down. But the healing and the support that you need to give yourself from within and from the people around you, it's going to get you in a better place. Oh, also, like if I, like how I said, being creative and anything, even if you feel like you were getting an animal or anything would help you, you know, then do it. I just feel like with this healing stuff, it's more important than a lot of people think. Like, that's why so much is, the so so many people are the way they are. That's why the world is, a, like, so crazy at times because people like to be like, oh, oh, the United States this. Oh, New Orleans this. Oh, this and that this. You can't really say that. Like, you gotta say the people you feel me like all these people around the world are damaged and they're doing a lot of things like it's just causing a lot of things that shouldn't be happening within families and within the world in general and i just feel like we all as people need to heal and try to make things better you know it's like it's not gonna be easy like I said but we can fight we can fight to make sure that we all heal and that we all be in a better place the world is a better place you understand but that's really about it that's all I had to say on the healing process and topic um that's kind of why I haven't been filming, you know what I'm saying? I have been trying to also get a camera and all these different things. So, um, I will be dropping, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to get to my 100 subscribers. So, I'll, um, it's probably not going to be the giveaway. I'm probably going to do the spy in my face and jump in the pool. Um, but at a certain point, I will do a giveaway. And I think it low-key might be with some ATM merch. So, make sure y'all stay tuned. And um, make sure y'all click that notification bell, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on my channel, please, and thank you. And if you already haven't, join the effort pack, guys. I'll effort y'all next time. Bye. Ain't nothing changed but the wheelchair still cockades. Tell them niggas fuck them, take a couple. They could drop down my tan and walk up on them with the pump. Watch them bucks spread. Niggas plan it, set them choppers, chop dreads. I'm taking half his head. Niggas know I go stupid. For my fam, I lose it. Came through my legs, but I still try to.